I did my first solo adventure in 2014 when I was 20. I was studying, I was on a strict budget and decided to go to one of the most expensive countries, Norway. I couch surfed in the city of Stavanger and I'm actually still friends with the girl I stayed at. And then I hiked from cabin to cabin in the mountains. It's actually one of my first videos I uploaded here on YouTube. Since then I've been on numerous solo adventures, ranging from micro-overnighters to crossing national parks on my own. And it's been a nice little routine of mine to check out of the world every now and then and spend some time on my own in nature. I know it seems scary to some people and I don't know why but I always liked being alone. Being with my own thoughts, reflecting, just, you know, doing stuff alone. Maybe it's because I'm an only child. Actually, now that I think about it, that probably is the reason why. <laughs> When it comes to going solo, I always follow a couple of rules. I only go where I feel super safe and I always let people know where I am. And I always, always, always bring good food and snacks. No matter how light I'm trying to pack, you will always find chips and some chocolate in my backpack.
highly encourage you to look into going solo sometime because it opens up so many different perspectives and introspectives. It's a time to slow down while also challenging yourself and getting out of your comfort zone a little bit. But of course, it depends a little on your country and restrictions and everything. So I feel super lucky that there's that every man's right here in Sweden to camp anywhere. I of course have a ton of tips and must brings in terms of stuff and equipment. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to talk a bit more about that. Also on hiking on a budget, because um, that's very dear to my heart, I feel like. Hiking should be accessible to everyone. Next week, I'll be back with a new cottage vlog. So I'll see you here again soon. Take good care.